as a photographer who also has a Stanley Cup, I'm now offering mini sessions. So all you have to do is send me PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, $86, and you can get a selfie with my Stanley Cup. You can take a selfie with it. You can impress your friends. You can impress your family. You can put it on your Tinder profile. You can put it on your Hinge profile. You can put it on your eHarmony profile. And I'm telling you, if you're single, you're going to get a man real fast. I have like a scheduled time slot where we meet up in a parking lot. It's like the parking lot in front of Ross that's next to the Walmart. Now, obviously, that video is satire. Or at least I hope it is. But even if that video is a joke, the worst part about it is that there is a literal truth behind it. Yes, normal people of the world watching this video right now, you heard that right. Stanley Cup fiends have now gone onto the Facebook marketplace to sell selfies with their Stanley Cup. In case you missed out on the trend. Oh my god! Firstly, we have a genuine human being on Facebook comparing a picture with a Stanley Cup to a childhood photo with Santa Claus. No fear of missing out here! Selfie with Stanley. Kinda like selfies with Santa. $20 for the pink cup and $10 for the white cup. Location will be disclosed soon. Don't feel left out. Come take a selfie for your social media and feel part of the action. So you're telling me that not only are people charging money for you to take a picture with a cup, but you get charged more based on what color it is? But also, I don't feel left out, and I certainly don't feel like I need to be part of the action, because my existence isn't defined by trends. And if you are resorting to something as pathetic as renting a cup from somebody that you don't know for social media points, there is something wrong with you! Can somebody tell me why someone is selling selfies with their pink Starbucks Stanley Cup on Facebook? I have a pink Stanley Cup available for photo shoots. Selfies with it are $5 and I can meet at the mall during the day. Message me to book a time. I'm literally booked up all afternoon on Wednesday. Like, and they're booked up? How desperate are y'all? What do you mean you're booked up? What does that mean? Do y'all not have jobs? I don't even know why I'm asking that question. Clearly not. And I don't see y'all searching for one anytime soon considering where your priorities are in life. Which is meeting up with a stranger from the internet in a parking lot to take a picture of yourself with their belongings even though you pay for it but you can't even keep it. Do you realize how deranged that sounds? But secondly, how are you booked up when you're barely even lifting a finger? All you have to do is sit there in your car and wait for people to take pictures. If you're a nail artist, I understand that you're booked up because it takes a very long time to do nails. If you're a hairdresser, I understand that you could be booked up because hair takes an incredibly long time to do. But with your business, it's just to sit there and let people do whatever they want with your cup. Selling selfies with an authentic pink Starbucks Stanley Cup. If you couldn't buy one, now is your chance to take some cool pictures for only $10. Meet in Baytown. So by this point, I think you're starting to kind of recognize a pattern that's going on here. Because all of these posts are literally advertising a selfie with the Starbucks slash Stanley collab because they've been pulled from shelves and won't ever be making a return. Because here's the thing, the way this cup had y'all acting in January is the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And what's hysterical is the fact that this hand in this picture is so obviously photoshopped. So a lot of these people don't even own the cup at all. It is the easiest money in the world. So I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace like I usually do and I noticed this. Hold on. Someone near me is charging $10 for people to take a selfie with a Stanley Cup. Mm, right. <laughs> so I decided to just keep scrolling down on Marketplace and I just kept seeing more and more. Yep, she's right. If you go onto the Facebook Marketplace, business is booming. But none of us would ever know that the business is booming because who wants to admit that they were renting another person's water bottle to take pictures with for social media. Nobody wants to say that they did that. So now, from here on out, I need all of you guys to be suspicious when you see people with this cup. Question them, because folks, it might not
not even be theirs now. But I think the craziest part about this entire ordeal is the fact that these sellers have the audacity to create rules and regulations. Weren't able to get one of those Starbucks Stanleys? Well, here's your chance to still be cool. For only $10, you can take up to five selfies with my Stanley. What happens if I take six? Why do I only get five? Is something bad going to happen to me if I go over my limit? Like, why is there an extra $10 for two more pictures? But here's the thing, I have zero sympathy for the people who are buying into this. You're happily letting yourself be scammed for fleeting social media attention. So, why should I feel bad? But it's not just the amount of pictures that are limited now, because the amount of poses you can do with the cup are now also limited. I'm offering $10 selfies with my Stanley cup. You can hold it and do up to three poses only. Okay, so if I get this cup, right, and I decide to do a peace sign, a heart, and a thumbs up, what happens if I do a fourth pose and cross my arms? Do you force me to delete the picture if I do one more pose? Is there someone up in the trees waiting to shoot me if I decide to do a duck face with it? You are insane! I'm offering a special for this week! You can get a selfie with my Stanley Cup for a cheap price of $10. I can drive to your home and you can take a picture with it in your home or in your car. It just sounds like you want to break into someone's house and steal their belongings. This is a threatening post. Now, the rules get even more bizarre. I don't know how, but they do. Because here's a listing that this TikTok user found on the Facebook marketplace. No, because I saw this a couple weeks ago and I thought it was a joke. And this is in DC. I, we've lost the plot. Here is your chance to take photos with the very rare Stanley and Starbucks Valentine's Day cup. You are required to pay in advance. And I will be taking the photos on my iPhone 7 Plus with a very nice camera for an extra $3. I will let you put your drink in there and take a sip out of it, but then I get the rest of the drink. Why are you taking the pictures on your phone? Because why would you want pictures of a random stranger on your phone? That's garbage to you. That doesn't mean anything to you. So why do they have to be on your phone? And for this guy to charge an extra three dollars oh for a camera quality that's like, what? Seven years old at this point? Brother, we're on the iPhone 15 now. You're charging people for a downgrade. Lastly, why would I put my drink in your cup? I don't care if you've washed it. I don't know you. And here's the other perspective. You shouldn't just be open to drinking random liquids that are put in your cup. You don't know what's in there. And also, that person paid to use your cup. I don't see you paying for their drink, now do I? So why do you feel entitled to it? You're a hypocrite! If that's your drink, then they're allowed to leave with that cup. That's their cup now. If you want to play those games, we're going to play those games. But people aren't just paying to take selfies with other people's cups. They're also going into Target specifically to have a staged candid photo shoot with the cup just to see how it would look on them. What does that even mean? What is it? Are you talking about the color of the cup? Are you talking about the style of the cup? This is a cup. Not an outfit! It can't look any way on you! Did we all just collectively forget that this is just a tool for hydration? But secondly, the way that people treat pictures like these, where you have a picture of your favorite celebrity and they sign the picture, is how people are treating Stanley Cups now. Because if you go on eBay right now, these sellers are legitimately saying this in their descriptions with a straight face. This was extremely popular and off the shelves in seconds to minutes. The prices are skyrocketing to above $300. But we all can't afford a $300 cup, so why not get the next best thing to it? A picture! Yes, a picture of this stunning cup with free shipping. This is only a photo of the cup on 11 by 8 printer paper. You won't regret purchasing a photo of a beauty like this.
You're saying, oh my god, we all can't afford $300 for a cup is insane, considering you're charging half the price for a picture of it. If someone isn't going to buy a $300 cup, why would they pay $150 for a picture of it? But you want to know what the next best thing to buy if you can't get your hands on a Stanley? Oh, I don't know, maybe another water bottle! <laughs> what the f*** am I gonna do with a picture of the cup? And the worst part about it is that I can't just exclusively be mad at the sellers. Because people are happily buying into this. People are putting this on their watch lists. This is an item that people are interested in spending their hard-earned money on. All of these people deserve each other. Clearly, this entire Stanley Cup community is people who are either scamming or people who are happily letting themselves be scammed. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah! I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!